Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play here on Callan, my romantic coastal retreat island. Uh, today another episode with a face cam. I'll say something regarding that in just a second. But before I do that, let me just show you what I like to work on today. So in case you're new to this island, um, basically you can expect tons of white, blue and pink. Uh, every villager has a slight storyline of how they kind of ended up here. Um, most of it has to do with, with like being overwhelmed and kind of just needing a bit of a calmer surrounding. And this uh, is exactly the island where they're getting that, you know, and there's a basically like a retreat and spa moment going on. All right, in some of the last episodes, we have been building up this entire part here with this like cafe, and then it ventures over into a, what I like to call a hyacinth lake. Um, it's just kind of one of those like beautiful areas where you can really relax and forget about your troubles, hopefully. Uh, and then this cafe is basically owned by Flurry and Tutu. Flurry likes to bake, so this is absolutely her passion. And Tutu helps her out uh, with like everything around it. And both of their interiors are, de are decorated and most of the stuff around their area is decorated also, except for this. Uh, this little like backyard, I guess you could call it. And also uh, there is a farm to the front here, which still has just a few open tiles. It's really not that serious, but I would still like to pay a little bit of attention to those and then it ventures over into the neighborhood, which should be fully, uh, I was gonna say customized, should be fully decorated. So those like tiny spaces, I think are gonna be the main ones that we focus on today. And then we're gonna see whatever else we have time for. All right, regarding the face cam, uh, someone recently asked in the comments if, because in the last few episodes I have been basically recording without face cam, and so someone asked if it'll kind of continue to be like that from, from now on, or if maybe I'll bring it back. Um, as you can see, I, I'm bringing it back, uh, but basically with a bit of a disclaimer. The thing is, I started a new job like a few weeks ago now, and I've been really enjoying it, but it's obviously like a bit of a different time uh, management work in progress, I want to call it. Uh, and so a lot of times I will say I struggle a bit with recording and I feel like I'll kind of have to squeeze it in. It is a 22 hour per week job. So it's like a part time job more or less, but it's still kind of very different because prior to that, I was doing content creation full time. So obviously my yeah, my entire process was very different. And so a lot of times I'll have to kind of make like a decision between either recording an episode without face cam or recording nothing at all just because with face cam and like the lights and getting myself camera ready, it all takes a lot longer and um i don't know i guess like the the energy level required for me to really get started on recording at all is also much higher i don't know if any of you maybe can relate to that and so a lot of times it'll be that trade-off it'll be like episode without face cam or no episode and then i kind of choose episode without face cam uh, so i hope that's okay long story short i would like to have the face cam for the let's play but i probably won't be able to always put it on um so yeah just as a hopefully a little bit of an explanation all right Let's think about what we want to do. So I think for Flurry, um, well, or generally I'll start with, I guess, like just gathering a couple of things. For Flurry, I could literally see her have some garden chairs. She does already have these like clotheslines, which I quite like. I think uh, that was a good idea from past Maline, I guess. <laughs> um, and then maybe there could be a, a little bit of a garden, like chair and table moment or like a garden bench. Although I think the the space might be a little awkward for some benches, but I'm just kind of picturing like a hangout spot for her and Tutu. So I guess we kind of will start with that. And then for the farm, you know what? I'll probably just go ahead and grab some stacked bags. I think that makes the most sense here. And then I don't know if there's any other things that we could maybe incorporate here. It could be something like the bath bucket, just like a, like a random bucket in like the farming bit or like a tin bucket might also work. Um, Potted starter plants, maybe, uh, or I don't know, some other some other box or something. Uh, could all, oh, could also be a shopping bag, like as though they just harvested those things. They harvest the bread, you know. <laughs> yeah, the the farm grows bread. I mean, it obviously. <laughs> Uh, but it, yeah, I don't know, might fit the little shopping bag or something. Uh, maybe a bunny. Uh, there's also a couple of bigger things. I think there were already like a bunch of wooden boxes in the area, so I might not go for the wooden boxes, but um, do I, oh yeah, I was gonna say, do I not have any more? Uh, I do, I do. Um, 
yeah, we'll see. I also still have some turnip, like Zenmaizuki barrels here. I've got one of the uh, singular ones, and then behind my face cam is a stacked one, so that might be an option. And some rocks are always an option, but I think that's what I'd like to get started with, is the basic items, as usual. So we do have a few open tiles to the very front here. A lot of these, as usual, will probably just be some weeds. Uh, I think this one here, for example, I might not want to do, um, I might not want to do any other like path leading to the garden just because this is already taking enough space as it is. Uh, we might do a little bit of a path back here though, just like maybe the broken tiles. Um, generally let's figure out the spacing for this stuff. Like where would the next codes be? All right. Yeah, so that could be like a two by two, honestly. And then maybe what if we have, I really see it here, the garden chairs. I don't know if it's ugly though. I don't know. It, these garden chairs are <laughs> objectively speaking, probably not the most aesthetic thing, but I kind of like them. Um, We could also take this fence away a little bit. And kind of do it like this and then have the have the chair be like partially underneath the tree. Oh yeah, I mean like the table there might be nice. Oh, or this is the bench. This could also be the bench moment. Okay, wait, actually let me try that before I, before I go any further. Also, by the way, all those fossil spots in the back there, uh, those are tree spots. I think we, we did that last episode um, and we kind of started on a little outside movie theater towards the back there. Okay, okay, mm -hmm, not bad, not bad with the garden bench sideways, maybe. It's not my favorite, though. I'm still, I'm still eyeing the garden chair. Where is the table? Where did the table go? There we go, table. I'm still eyeing the garden table. Um, ooh, what if we have that one here, and then this goes like, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, <laughs> this goes... Like so. Maybe. Uh, we're gonna have some weird gapping around the around the trees though. Or we put the garden table like so. I'm taking away so many options for me to have like a planted like a flower or something though. Like this can't be anything because it's actually both of the items are on half a tile, which is not good at all. Okay, well, how about we just push this a little bit further down? I don't know how cute this garden chair is. You know what? We could use the iron ones, though, so we don't make it too, like, cheap looking, I guess. And then maybe like this? <laughs> if they sit here, though, their head will liter literally be in the tree. Okay, let's push it the other way around. Sometimes tiny spaces can be really hard. They're definitely not like my favorites to decorate either, but um, I think that sometimes just having like a few more items in, uh, in, um, in a space like this, it can also just seem like very cute, you know? Cause you, you just put in that extra like effort um, for the decorating part. Okay, and then maybe I bring the fence back I don't know what I thought about like this part being like that. I guess I, do, I wanted to hide the tree stump a little bit or the tree. It's not a stump as a tree. Is a tree trunk? The tree, you know, the, the lower wooden part of the tree. <laughs> yeah, OK, well, we're going to do it sideways. So the distance between the fence and the um, chair doesn't seem quite as big. Uh, so it doesn't seem like such a weird, a, a weird gap, I guess. All right, and then maybe this is gonna be the setup that we have. So um, table more or less under the tree and then some type of chairs like this here. And then this here could be something planted, maybe even a shrub. I think that could work. Um, I do wanna go in and see what other options we, we might have for specific like tables. Cause maybe this isn't quite ideal. Uh, and I I'm, maybe Flurry and Tutu would also have a bit more class and they wouldn't necessarily have the cheap like garden chairs. Um, so we can try the iron, iron furniture maybe. Do I also have, I do also have a table or, you know, we could also use those chairs with like a different table. We could do the Moroccan tray table or something. 
The options are the options are there, which sometimes doesn't necessarily make the decorating any easier. Okay, but so in that case, you know, let's try let's try oh god, where's the stuff? Iron garden table. Let's try that one. Okay, I think I already like it more with the aesthetic. I do, I do. Plus, I did just think because they these chairs have no like armrest. It's kind of nice because even on this one here. Uh, wait, even on this one here, someone could sit down. Like, even if we turn it this way, um, they could still kind of sit down, like, this way around, you know? Very big distance to that table, isn't it? All right. Well, option one would be this. Or I did bring the Moroccan tray table, like I said. Um, or, you know what? Maybe it goes like this. But they're just kind of, they just kind of sit here together. And then there there could be some cookies, I think. So it's like a relatively low item so it doesn't glitch into the tree. And then they could just sit here and like gossip and they just have like a side table to have like their coffee or whatever else it is that they that they want, like a hot chocolate or uh, a drink. I might prefer the garden table though um, because it did seem to match. And then I think it's very important to try out some custom designs here. Because I think with custom designs, it could look much better with the like gapping and stuff. And also the other thing I was thinking about is right now I'm using the wooden clotheslines, but I haven't really used anything like wooden like that. Like the, the, the most wooden stuff that I have is like the signpost that's behind the storage shed right now. Um, apart from that, I think most of the time I've opted to use like metal or, you know, like at least like white wood or something. So I don't know if those clotheslines are the best or if I should I should grab the clothesline pole, I think it's called. Like this one here. Yeah, clothesline pole. There we go. Like that could also be an option. We could all wait, we could also do the dryer or what what is God, the the rack? Cloth rack? Drying rack. There we go. We'd also do that. Not sure about the colors, but that would also be an option. Yeah, I don't know. If this is cute. I'm not gonna lie, this is cute. Uh, you know, clothesline pull. <sighs> yeah? Hmm. I think if you'd run past it like a little bit quicker, you probably wouldn't really question it, but I don't know if the metal rod bars are like the vibe. <laughs> it's all about the vibe all the time. Okay, here's a drying rack. drying rack in either this color turned around that way it's very like ivory looking with the very clean white of the chairs here flashes a tiny bit but i did bring the other drying rack too that has either green or yellow maybe we just go with this one maybe she just has like a wooden clothesline moment that might be nice. That might be nice. We're just going to try it. Uh, if any of you have like maybe a, a different idea for this, always feel free to leave it in the comments, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm not <laughs> I'm not the best at responding all the time. I do read pretty much all the comments, though. Um, so I do always appreciate them a lot. Uh, OK, clothesline. Because, I mean, we had these here for a while. I feel like I kind of almost got used to them. And so I quite like them. I think when I put them down at the start, I was already kind of like, oh, we'll see if we use these. I don't know. <laughs> and then should we just do another tile thingy here? I like the tiles. They seem very, like, coastal to me. And then I just recently started... Um, I think I've talked about it in the Let's Play before, maybe. But I did start an... Dang it. <laughs> I did start a new island um, that is supposed to be like a bit more minimalistic and like a German countryside island. And on that one, I have been using this exact like tile path, but like in a darker, more like brown shade. And I, it's just honestly this I think this will be one of my favorite pathings uh, going forward. Oh, see with this with this, it kind of the ivory drying rack maybe works because the tiles are very like ivory like. We've got too many different whites clashing here, I think. Uh, that might not be my favorite thing. You know, like the very bright white of the table, and then we got the ivory white of like the drying rack. We've got the 
more or less ivory white, I guess, of the uh, tiles. Okay, frosted cookies might be an option or ooh, mixed fruits. Crepe would also be super cute. Food looks so good in Animal Crossing. Um, okay, we got the cupcakes here, so I don't think I want to use those. And we have the cake here. Yeah, I think cookies would make sense. Cookies or a coffee cup would make sense, probably. But like a singular coffee cup is kind of is kind of sad storyline wise, right? So I'd I'd probably I'd probably just put the frosted cookies down so they can both enjoy them. Yeah, I think that's good. And, and then iron garden chair here, twisted that way around. There we go. And then I think this could also use another custom design. This could also be some tiles. There we go, because the other clothing uh, clothesline was like a bit of an on a half tile. Like this. I think this is how we had it before. Um, and now there could be, yeah, there could be some flowers and stuff in between. Now, obviously with with the fencing, it's, it's not quite as easy because fencing, like placed this way around, as you can see, has tons and tons of gapping around it. But I think maybe you can work around it so it doesn't actually look quite as awkward, so. I would like to have something definitely back there in the back left corner. Uh, I'm wondering if that should maybe be if that should be a shrub of or if that should be a flower. And then we can definitely have like a flower here or a tile further to the right. And we could probably have one like here. And then these two would be clumps of weeds. Yeah, I don't think I want to place too many things. We could have like a wash bucket or something. We brought the tin bucket. We could check it out, but... Or the bath bucket and like a little stool or something. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's... I just don't want to risk like overdoing it, you know? And I don't want to plant the flower here if we also have one there. Because then that's like actually on the same... Uh, on the same tile line. So I might not want to do that, but then maybe we go with a shrub in the very back there. Like maybe a hibiscus. I don't know why I recently I've been stealing so much from like other areas that I've created. Like I always just go and I steal tiny trees or like now I, st I st stole this like shrub or just earlier I was bringing a whole bunch of things from my pockets back to the beach like the flowers. And I just exchanged like one of the lilies I'd run through and stole that from like an area. I don't know. I don't know why I keep doing I used to not do that all the time. But lately, I guess, I guess it's just uh, become a habit. <laughs> and habits are hard to break, as we all know. Uh, but yeah. And this is, by the way, this is going to be the outside movie theater right here, which I'm kind of excited for. Um, I might work on that. I think not next episode. I, th I think once we've gotten these tiny spaces, I would like to return to our shopping district because we still have uh, like tiles left over there as well. And like very awkwardly, like part of it is fully decorated and then it just stops, I guess. Oh my God, look how that already changes the area. That's kind of wild. Alrighty. Um, Okay, the rest of this, you know, the rest of this is going to be just fillers and by fillers, I mean um, shrubs and oh, you know what? This could also be a flower. Oh, wait, this is very close to the, to the chair. I think we should have another custom design here. Um, that could be a shrub or it could be a flower. I did not take uh, the, the, the gapping into consideration, I guess. All right. Yeah, and a flower here would be so cute. Oh, it could also be, wait, you know what it could also be? We could have like a darker or like a colorful, maybe not, nah, maybe not pink, maybe like a blue flower here. And then this here could just be like a lily of the valley. So it just seems like a random, like small flower, you know? And it doesn't actually like, because all the other flowers have the three little petals, and the Lily of the Valley just has the one little stem, so it, I feel like that one is always quite nice to use with others because it never 
Never actually looks all that repetitive. I know I had some like randomly spawning ones over here. There we go. Everywhere. I think I don't know if the island is still at five stars. I feel like at some point I checked because I, I got annoyed by all the <laughs> Lily of the Valley spawning. Um, and I think I didn't have five stars at the time. I would think that I didn't because I mean I've got a couple of rotten turnips uh, like dropped in some places. Uh, wait, that was gonna be the actual flower. This is gonna be a lily of the valley. Actually very cute. That's actually very cute. And then maybe this would be a clump of weed and this would be a bigger flower. Yeah, like this would be a bigger flower and then maybe, nope. Maybe this would be a bigger, bigger flower. And then the rest is kind of just like shrubs. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know why I keep like digging these up and then not actually doing anything with it. Okay, so I think this one's gonna be a weed. Um, and this one's gonna be a weed. And then this one here is gonna be, I think, I think I like that to be a tea olive because tea olives are, are a little bit lighter than others. Um, we've got the hibiscus, there's the hydrangea, there's the plumeria. I think hydrangea might be nice. I think hydrangea might be nice here. Okay, and then this here is also a weed, and then these two are gonna be flowers. <sighs> Something blue right there. Um, I would say a pansy. Maybe something pink right here. A hyacinth. There's a hyacinth like here, but that still might be fine. And then maybe like a white tulip. Okay, white tulip. Actually, let's just get these now. Um, white tulip, blue pansy, and pink hyacinth, right? Okay, here we are. Blue pansy, yes, check. Um, pink hyacinth, check. And white tulip. I hope that that's correct. <laughs> I hope that that's correct. I also replanted a little bit of sugar cane, but I, I didn't have a watering Oh, hi, Potty. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, she's enjoying the little lake here. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Ooh, the lag. The lag is real, but it's fine. We're embracing it. At this point, we're embracing it on a new island. I'm challenging myself to be a little bit more minimalistic, but you know. You, you can't you can't do the same island everywhere. So we are fully embracing the lag on this one right here. <laughs> All right. There we go. You know what? I think that's kind of cute. It is a tiny space, you know, but I think it kind of fits. It kind of fits the vibes. They have a little background area to kind of gossip and and talk. And then, yeah. Alrighty, and then next up, y'all know this was coming, is this part right here. So this is really, as you can see, a super tiny space. Um, a lot of this is probably not even going to be visible from any spaces. I think you just kind of see this, and I'm covering it. Great. Um, you just kind of see, I guess, I guess like these three tiles here from the path from like the farm here. And then let's check the other side. Oh, I guess maybe one of these should be a shrub. Hold on. Actually, maybe this here should be a shrub. Uh, I'm thinking a azalea. Bit of the textured, textured leaves. Oh yeah, if you if you run here, like you can see a couple of tiles over to the left there. Nothing dramatic though. I think definitely a pink flower. <laughs> and then I mean I brought the I brought the seed bags. I might as well use them because I do think they they would probably be nice. Oh yeah, stack bags, the the bath bucket and stuff, right? And the shopping bag. And then we could definitely go and put in the um the bunny, I think. All right. So what would the stack bags look like here? The bags. Okay. What fence have I used? The wooden fence. Cuz I think there could be another piece right here. And then should we just close this off so people can go here and then do like another stack bag right here with maybe the nope the shopping bag because it's a little bit taller mm. 
Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, nope. <laughs> oh, maybe the bucket. I like the bucket. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate when stuff like that happens. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that back. We're going to put the storefront back. There we go. All right. And then this was the stacked bags. There we go. What color did I get for the potted starter plants? Oh, blue. Oh, yeah, that may work. And then you are going to be the tin bucket instead. Because I I, th I think that might that might work nicely. Okay, let me go into picture mode so you kind of see this. Um, I don't know, but the gap here kind of annoys me a little bit. So it feels like I need something taller there. But that's kind of hard to do. Unless I do like two stack bags on top of each other. It's never my favorite look though, because these they go very tall. That would certainly block it though. And then I don't know. I mean we can have another one back here and then put the bucket on top of it. Did we have another one? Did we have another uh pair or or like stack back item? Ah, uh, we do. Okay, we do. Uh, actually, just since we only have one left, I will go ahead and order just maybe around three more because I could see this in the uh, mechanical shop as well as, you know, like a filler everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Uh, stack bags, please. One, two, and three. There we go. And then let's try the, let's try the bag and bucket combination. Yeah, maybe it's nice. Maybe it's nice. Maybe I take it back. <laughs> okay, so kind of like this. And then here is the tin bucket. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I think this might work. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll add some of those stones. Um, We might not even need the fence that I just talked about previously. Um, but we'll add these stones and then... Maybe some leaves to the other side, or let's see if I have something else. Maybe like a puddle could work too. If I don't have too many puddles, then I mean maybe like a puddle for the tin bucket might be nice. Yeah, yeah. There definitely should be a pink flower in this area. I'm kind of thinking of maybe if the tulip should be, should be like a pink one instead. Not a pink tulip, because the pink tulips are not really quite it. But I mean, if that just goes upwards a tile and where the tulip is right now that'll be like a like a shrub instead i think that's good and then maybe we'll grab a lily oh there's kind of a lily like up above me here i think that's okay and then maybe this here could be a flower too this here will just be a weed and this here will be a shrub i think we're gonna go with a plumeria or maybe this could be a fence yeah, maybe that could be a fence. All right, so we're gonna go grab. Um, maybe we could, maybe we can still use the tulip. So I'm just gonna go grab a pink. What did I say? Lily, right? Okay, pink lily and a piece of fence. And Pate is still here. Oh my god, she's kind of turned sideways now. I don't really know why, but why not? <laughs> As long as she enjoys it, I guess, you know, she has every right to sit however, however she'd like uh, to sit. And here I am. Alrighty, so pink lily. And then here is the, here's the fence. Just kind of goes here. Oh, maybe on both of those tiles, huh? Oh, wait, how do I place... No, I know how I place it. Okay, wait, I gotta push. I gotta push this in, then take the fence, put it down so it faces the right way. Yes, and then we pull this back. This here might be a tiny bit weird. We can, oh, too many, there's too many items, I think. This will be very glitchy, and this could be the bunny. This could kind of be the bunny. I never know if I like these or not, like the white ones, because they kind of look a little bit cursed with the no eyes. Should we get the gray one instead? I, I don't think I had a gray one, did I? But the gray one might be cuter because it does have eyes. A bunny, 
Bunny, bunny, bunny. Garden decoration. I don't own the gray one. Okay. Hmm. I used the bunnies before, actually, on the beach. And I don't think I really was a big fan of them there either. Um... Ugh. This bug is the worst on this island. It looks so bad. It does not fit in. Yeah, so over here, T-Bone. T-Bone loves ant- but like... You know what I mean? And then also, I don't know why, but like this is- this beach feels very unfinished to me. Did I want to return to this one? Because it, I feel like there's- there could be more codes here. Um, like for example, I do have this like seagull shadow. Which might be nice. Well, a nice touch, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna go grab a bunny. We're gonna go to Harps Island. And we're gonna re-customize it and then check out if we like the gray one, maybe. And then we've got it in our in our catalog, you know? And then if we like it, we could order more and exchange the ones that we currently have as white bunnies, but just don't know if if that's perfect. I also don't know if that was a shortcut or, or weird. <laughs> All right, let's go and yeah, let's go and check it out. I, I don't know. There's I think there's even like a pink and a blue one, but those really don't look super cute. So yeah, let's go to Harvest Island. And there we are. Now, please tell me I did actually unlock them already because that would be... <laughs> okay, good. I did. I didn't even... Oh my god, I didn't even get leaf. What have I been doing on this island? Why do I have red? But not leaf. I feel like usually when I when I unlock um when I unlock Harvest Island, the first ones I get are Reese and Cyrus. Um and then I think immediately after I get I get leaf usually. Which ones do you unlock first? I don't know. I feel like I, I most often use like the item um recustomization thing. And then one one other thing that's nice to have is the inventory stuff, like this one here. I still, okay, confession time. Since the 2.0 update, I have not once, not once, I think, done one of Katrina's readings. Actually, you know what? Let's see what hairstyle we get. Um, and I feel a little bit bad about it. I know that a lot of people really like those, but I just never really, I just never really saw the point because especially as it was updated or, up, yeah, as, as the update came, I guess I was already past that gameplay experience, you know, and I was already like so focused on decorating. Oh, cute. It's cute. This is this is one of my favorite one of my favorite, but um, I like the one that we have. <laughs> I really like this one that the one that we have. So please give me give me back. OK, this is this is a great, great hairstyle, uh, hairstylist experience, hairdressers experience. <laughs> I wish we had that little sign also. That's so cute. And then you can customize it, but that little wooden sign. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. There are so many things just out and about in the Animal Crossing world that I would love to have for my own decorating skills. Skills? No, but my own decorating. Like these here? little rainbow little rainbow decorations that are actually cute you know all the rainbow stuff that we have is weird or like this here or or you know give us this house shape give us this little this little sign there you know what i'm saying you probably have had the same thoughts before you know <laughs> all right let's go back to my island Alrighty, here we are now let's got all of these weeds have grown so much that's kind of nice I think they weren't always like that, right? I will take it. I will take it. Oh wait, let me let me take my shortcut again. <laughs> and then let's see if the gray bunny also fits. Uh, bunny garden decoration, please. Okay, I'm gonna say I like this more. I'm gonna say I prefer this. And I, at this point, would like to ask you if you feel the same way, <laughs> uh, first of all. And also, if, number two, I should exchange the ones that I have on the beach right now. Oh, wait, it's kind of behind my camera now. But, I mean, you kind of see here. 
I think I was like scared to use, excuse me. Um, I was scared to use the gray ones before cause I thought they looked like colder. Like I wanted them to be like a little bit warmer toned or whatever, but I really like the gray ones. All right, um, we have filled the two tiny spaces up. Um, I think there might still be a little bit of time left before I really need to come to an end. So I was, ah, uh, Deli, no, I don't have a net. I can't even, can't even bonk you. <gasps> Hi, Flurry. Oh, Flurry's cleaning the plaza. We really appreciate that. Um, so this is what I'd like to work on next time, first of all. So like just this area here and um, all the way to the front where the Abel Sisters is. <gasps> beautiful, beautiful outfit today or like, you know, beautiful sweater. Um, and then this is kind of what we've done for the Abel Sisters. As you can see, also, it's missing some some detail stuff. We have already planted some trees over to the left. This is going to just have a couple of fillers. I do think there might be a filler episode at some point, uh, like a beach filler episode. But I was just thinking it might be nice to get um, some uh, trees grown. And also, I think I, I wanted to have just a couple of, of yachts to the to the front. All right. So I kind of could see a tree here, like a coconut tree or to the left. I'm worried that if I put, not to the left, sorry, to the right, so like here. I'm worried if I plant one there, that is gonna glitch into the other one. But so that could be a coconut tree. And then let's, let me see if I've got, um, let me see if I have got some yachts maybe. Cause then we can just plant. <gasps> oh, I see a, a stunting mishap. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I do this too often. Okay, wait. Because this indicates that it was supposed to be a second stage tree, I think. Which this definitely is not. And so that's not great. Um Yeah, let's just let's just take care of that right now. Uh there's also this bamboo tree on the left that I have been talking about three episodes now. That is also not stunted the correct way. Maybe now's the time. Now, maybe we just fix a couple of small details so I don't have to worry about those the next episode. Okay, so this is a second stage. I'll keep the sign there so I, I know. I know to stunted. So we've got one hardwood tree right there, and then this is the other one I was talking about. This is supposed to be a third stage. In case you don't know or don't understand my great system that I've got going for that right now, I don't really either. <laughs> Essentially, I usually have a custom design that has a big like two or a three on it for like uh, second stage and third stage trees. And that's very easy to understand. But I ran out of custom design slots on this island. So I, I came up with this great idea of using this like window code, because in this one, you basically see like three sections of the window, you know, where the balcony railing basically is that has like three sections that you can see. That means that the, it's a third stage. And for the other one, you see two and just like a tiny little bit more. And that's like a second stage tree. I don't know. I probably should just, I probably should just like get rid of a custom design or, t or two custom designs for now. And just, um, yeah, just, <laughs> just get them back at some other point because this is absolutely ridiculous. I could probably do that. I could probably just do that with, Maybe this one, but then that makes like interior decorating maybe a little bit too hard. Hmm. I don't know. I'll keep it. I, I, I will keep it. I was going to say I'll keep it because it works, but apparently and very obviously it doesn't work. I don't know who I'm trying to fool here. Okay, well, whatever. Um, let me get the let me get the yachts if I have them. If not, then, of course, this entire endeavor is kind of pointless anyway. But I ha I think I picked some up before. Or maybe that was a different island. No, there we go. Okay. I also have wave breakers, which are very handy. Um, and I think towards the front, I just like to use these blue ones. Now the question is, do we want to place them as though they're like coming out of the water? Or do we want to place them sideways so that you see them a little bit better? Yeah, because, you know... Not the cutest. They're much cuter if you've got the place like this. Which I think... I think that could work. Can I maybe... What happens if I pull it up? Can I push it over? 
flush it out. Oh, that might be nicer. Yeah, or the other way around, even. Uh, oh, nope, not the sand dollar. There we go. Not. Mm-hmm. I gotta steal. I gotta steal a coconut tree. Deli, please. Oh, interesting. Okay, you 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 don't see this. So, so um. Hmm. Maybe we push it further away then, and just embrace the fact that you don't see anything. And we're just gonna put a couple of log stakes along the beach right here at the start, as long as it doesn't look awkward with the um, fencing that we have. Okay, one, two, maybe three but placed very differently. That's weird, right? Hmm. And then I would like to definitely have something here. Either like this or even closer up, just because of, of the cliff that I want to cover at that point. And then it could be just like here and there, and that's the trees. And then maybe we, pu we put like one yacht here side sideways i think you know if i get to choose i'd probably go with sideways and then maybe like one here maybe also sideways or maybe this one doesn't have to be i don't know beaches also again beaches are hard and beaches i kind of lack uh i i don't really have that many ideas i think or we put them this way around so they're being pushed into the water and then we could get away with three in total. Able Sisters is open. We could get the outfit. The cute outfit. Oh. Oh, I guess, wait, this is maybe not bad. Uh, Maybe this isn't bad, but then I think we would need to have maybe like another, maybe like another tree. Uh, Like here? here and then maybe like another one towards the front somewhere probably probably this or this is that the same line this dang it or this is the tree that they're literally pushed up against coconut trees maybe that one is there Plus potentially a, a bit of a custom design underneath. Um, or does this go some other place? Does this yacht like just not not exist here? Okay, I'm gonna need some coconuts. I'm gonna need some coconuts and plant these trees. Ah, oh, dang it, I can't get there now. <laughs> Alrighty, more like that. And then let's put the log sticks back down. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I think, you know what, this is going to be fully grown. And this one here is going to be third stage. And I think this one might also be third stage. And then the one by the entrance is also going to be fully grown. But this one I'd, I'd need to look at. I don't know if that would actually look good or not. Okay, let's put my, my great system in place. So third stage is this. I can't even, I can't even take myself seriously, you know? Uh, and then third stage is that. <laughs> and then I feel like we should do something else here. I feel like we should do something else here. I have the garden stuff still with me. You know, the garden table. Hmm. Or the, the bench? Garden bench? Oh yeah, garden bench maybe. And then I think this needs to have another coconut tree. And then that could work as a backdrop maybe. I don't have another coconut tree. Okay, I need to look at this when, when the trees are all grow. Oh my god, what is what is Flurry running towards to? <laughs> she was like, I need to water this flower. This can't go a second longer without any water. Uh, all right. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I need to see this with the trees grown. I think it's it's just kind of impossible to judge right now. But it feels like I wanna I wanna change and and complete it, and then just time travel and have it be done. You know, 
I'm impatient, so that makes sense. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with Animal Crossing, because it's really, it doesn't seem like the best game if you are impatient, which I m most certainly am. Oh, wait, this is a cuter shape, though, maybe. Maybe this is a cuter shape. Could this be another tile? <gasps> we do one more lock stake. And then kind of do more lock stakes here. That'd be laggy very quickly, but it might be cute. It might be cute. Uh, let me grab... Let's see if I have any more, actually. But let me grab a couple more if I do. Okay, I got three more. That actually would be enough. Okay, so, like, I'd, I'd probably put one more, like, here. More towards the side, though. Like, half tile, you know? You know what I'm talking about? And then half tile here. Or, I don't know, half tile, but... Yeah, somewhat like this. Maybe this one gets turned around. Or maybe like this. Maybe like this. And then the third one here goes right there. Let's take a look at it. Um, couple of couple of trees that need to be stunted. I think we're gonna start with two days, but before we do, I'd like to check out Able Sisters real quick. Um, but we have a, a second stage tree here, and then I, th I think third stage. All right. Ooh, also interesting things, but I like the one that they had outside. And then I think I already talked to Sable enough. I think I probably already have her patterns. I get super confused because I did just start the new island. Um, or actually two new islands. Uh, I will I will do an update on my island stuff in, in the upcoming weeks also. Um, but yeah, I get confused because then I think I'm like, oh, wait, I have it, right? Or maybe I don't. Do I need to talk to them? Do I not? I don't know. Oh my god, this is cute. This is actually cute. I like this sweater for um, this theme, too. Some socks, for sure. I'll grab these, because, you know, what's the harm? What is the harm? There we go. Cute. I won't wear it, but it's definitely very cute. And then, you know what? I'll just do a time jump now. I'll get all these trees to kind of whatever size we agreed on. And then I'll show you the finished results. Alrighty, there we go. So now everything should be grown in. Um, I don't think we planted too many shrubs in this part, but you know, we have the little part here by the storage and I think they're <laughs> this shrub, this shrub we planted. So that one has grown in. And then let's just check on Flurry's little area. Uh, we do have those two shrubs. They're kind of like in a line, but at the same, I think it's, I think it's okay. Yeah, I'm glad that we finally have a little backyard moment for Flurry there. And then of course, oh wait, Tutu wants to leave now, dang it. Um, but then of course we also did some of that um, entrance stuff. So here is what it looks like if you kind of come out of the airport. So there's like a big coconut tree there now and you do see the lock stakes. I think it kind of is fine with this one in the background. I don't know how to feel about the double like fence vibe, but I also think it might be okay. I quite like the bench. I think we should definitely add some more details, add a couple of uh, flowers, maybe some custom designs. Uh, maybe we can even add like some of the tiles or the stones underneath the yachts. But I think I kind of like this. I think as far as like the tree uh, distribution goes, you know, this is quite nice. I also like the fact that it now kind of covers this part of the cliff here. I feel like that works quite well. And the rest of this can definitely be uh, like filled up and made like cuter with a whole bunch of details. So I think I'm happy with that. And we also fixed up this little tree as well as the bamboo tree over on the left that I showed you earlier. I actually managed to remember to stunt it. So uh, that one's also taken care of. And I think that might be where we leave it today. I feel like this is now like a decent length or maybe even like quite a long episode. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed us decorating those little tiny spaces today. Like I said, next time, I think we'll do this area where I'm standing right now. Uh, so make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up also for the algorithm. And then I hope that you all have an amazing time until I see you hopefully in the next episode. Bye everyone.